I think it's fair to say that UCD is Ireland's leader in AI research. We have the greatest concentration of world-leading academics working in the field. A lot of those are involved in the Research Ireland Insight Centre for Data Analytics, which is Ireland's largest nationally funded research centre. At UCD, we have over 100 researchers working in AI applications, fundamental AI technologies, the next generation of algorithms, tools and techniques that are going to drive the field forward. Because of the rapid advancement of AI, it is becoming more and more necessary to have people with very high level skills. So we saw it as important to introduce a new master's which focused on advanced AI. That allows us to bring in people who have some basic knowledge of AI, which is now being found in many curricula at the bachelor level, but to drive that forward. When you join this master's program, you join the AI ecosystem in UCD, which consists of uh, students, past graduates, research centers, and industry collaborations. We expect that the uh, applicants will have an undergraduate degree with a 2-1 honors bachelor's degree in uh, computer science, computer engineering, or uh, information technology, or mathematics, or physics. And then we expect them to have a basic understanding of the AI concepts. And we expect them to know uh, basics of programming and uh, um, basic mathematical background. Most importantly, we expect the students to have a lot of passion for this field of artificial intelligence and a keen curiosity to learn more and dive deeper into the advanced AI concepts. So the students will learn the uh, foundational mathematical concepts and uh, the technological side of uh, artificial intelligence. So they will take modules such as uh, deep learning, uh, advanced machine learning, optimization, uh, generative AI, and large language models to get a solid grounding in uh, artificial intelligence. Then they will also learn how to apply these uh, techniques into uh, application domains such as health, such as uh, time series data, uh, such as recommender systems, and so on. Traditionally, what education is about is equipping people with the knowledge to deal with the changes that occur in the work context. So I would hope people coming out of the course would have a sort of deep but broad knowledge of many aspects of AI, and that that would enable them to deal with the changes which are going to come down the line. Um, I mean, I think we're probably going to enter a period where people will be defining their own jobs in this space. Um, and... We need to get to a point where it's clear which aspects of these models work and which don't. And the jobs will then coalesce around them, I think. You know? The techniques that have been developed in recent years in artificial intelligence, they're very exciting. We have been marveling at, at what they can achieve. But they are not simple models to understand. You need expertise to understand them, to apply them, and in particular, to apply them correctly to know the pitfalls of the algorithm because the algorithm may not achieve its goals if it's not applied correctly. And these are the sort of fundamental skills that we expect to teach our master's students. And they are the fundamental skills that are needed out in industry. During my time at UCD, I studied modules such as machine learning, deep learning, and generative AI. And I learned a variety of theoretical and practical practical concepts. And I also completed a dissertation in the field of explainable AI. At UCD, uh, in the second sem, I first took advanced machine learning. So the, mach the, uh, the module was mainly about basic concepts of deep learning. Like I got a head start on concepts on ANN, RNN, which CNN, which are the basic building blocks for then studying AI in future. I work in Intel and my domain within Intel is industrial automation. So, like I said, we use AI uh, solutions to make the lives of engineers easy. And it's a very big field uh, within Intel. Uh, also, Honeywell. Honeywell also has a huge AI market. Uh, and they want to solely use AI uh, for their uh, industrial automation needs. Uh, training models to predict how soon machinery might go bad. And that is really very, uh, you know, very important right now. Uh, point being to reduce the dependency on humans. Uh, so it's, we call it like a lights out uh, strategy. Uh, yeah, I think it's really booming. And that involves generative AI, computer vision, uh, 
time series forecasting these are all kind of different things within ai but they're all very much in demand at the moment i feel i did deep learning i did connectionist computing i did text analytics and i did machine learning with python and um, all of these really stayed with me because they had one thing in common they taught us the math behind all the algorithms that we use and it sort of really helped me understand these algorithms better and it really stayed with me so in my time at ucd i got to study a lot of modules which were related to artificial intelligence like machine learning deep learning and all these modules were designed in a way that helped me to gain the practical exposure as well as to gain the theoretical knowledge and apart from that i did an internship as a part of my course so that really allowed me to gain the industrial exposure in ireland so which was brilliant i think i had a couple of modules in the first semester which had a weekly assignment submissions so what used to happen is even though we had other uh, modules in the semesters these would keep us on our toes the whole time and we really got used to it you know at the time it might seem stressful but now that that i think of it it made me uh, able to brainstorm at any given point of the day i remember uh, like you know as classmates we would hang out late evening around the ucd lake and decide not to talk about assignments for some time because we want to break but when chit chatting about random stuff suddenly it would click a solution would click in our head in one of the assignments and we would just open our laptops regardless of the weather we just and we would solve it then and there so that was very nice i remember and i cherish that memory a lot there's an awful lot of hype around what's going on and i think that that's got to a level that's not healthy as it were so i think you know working in the area you should maintain a sort of critical or skeptical attitude and i think that will be more important as time goes on because you have to be able to debunk the stuff that's rubbish and you know separate it from the work that actually is is a, a real scientific advance one of the exciting things about doing ai and machine learning in ireland is we have a concentration of the world leading companies in this field so we have google and meta and open ai and all of the other big names that people will be familiar with working here in Ireland and we have collaborations with all of those companies here in UCD those collaborations range from sponsored student projects to deep research collaborations where we're working with those companies to take the research ideas that we're developing here in UCD and bring them out to those companies and then out to the, the rest of the world 